Guys, Arbiter Chief Adam here. Um, I didn't want to make this kind of video today because this is kind of dissing a product. Um, it's not. It's not this one. I'll show you what it is. Um, oh man! Uh, but basically, it's my GM, GMC 300E. Done a ton of videos on that one. The Geiger counter. Every Geiger counter's got a Mueller tube. This is a pretty fairly new Mueller tube. This is a United States made, U.S. made Mueller tube. It's good. It's a very good tube. There's one little problem, and then that's glass. All right. Whenever you move it around, you can hear the anode kind of vibrating a little bit. So I said, "Hey, I'm gonna go go on eBay and buy myself some durable um, SPM 20 Russian tubes, which I thought would be a good idea." All right. Here's the first one I bought. This one, if you listen closely. And this one's got somewhat of a shaking noise in it, and it does not work. So that right there is a broken anode. This is how it arrived after shipping. Um, the provider on eBay told me it would, they are tested. I do not believe they are, as uh, these tubes are normally supposed to be very durable. But come to find out, maybe they're not. So, you know... The seller said, okay, don't worry about it. Let me send you another one. So that one was a jump. Here's the second one he sent. Pretty similar to the other one. It's actually got the same nick in the same place. I'm going to give it some shakes. You can hear, once again, an anode moving. And here's, when I ha here's what happens when I hook it up to my Geiger counter. All right. Just make sure positives with positive here. Okay, here we go. All right, one count. Taking my fiesta wear. Nothing. Nada. Zip. Broken anode. I don't know how he's testing them, but they're not good tubes. I don't understand why they would be considered good tubes. Here's the first one. This one just shorts it out. See the red light just staying on there? So yeah, they're both crap. Um, I don't know as to, I think I'm probably just going to end up getting a refund from this guy. These are $10 tubes, or at least that's what they were listed on, on his, uh, eBay forum. Um, confidential wise, I'm not going to give out names, but the main purpose of this video is please, when you, when you refer to testing them, don't test for, um... Don't test for sh for uh, shorts or if it can hold current because that is not what a Mueller tube does or a Geiger tube does. The Geiger tube actually has two separated metal parts in it and a catheter. They don't touch each other. So if you're measuring this with a voltmeter um, and you're looking at resistance, that's not the correct way to measure this. Your best way to measure this is to get yourself a Geiger counter. Put it on the Geiger counter and see if it works. I know for a fact these work with the G, GMC3, GMC 300Es. I've seen tons of videos on them. They work fine when they, when you get a good tube. Um, and you know these these are good tubes. They're very good tubes for what they are. They're very durable. They're not glass. The glass one works extremely well though. Um, you can't carry it around too much. But I've had this in there for a while now and it's worked perfect. This is a you made in United States. These are made in Russia. Very light. Um, so that's just kind of a warning. You want to watch out for that stuff, guys. Um, not to say the SBM twenties are bad tubes. They just need to be packaged correctly and tested correctly. Um, don't even bother testing it if you don't have a Geiger counter. 